Google Chrome continues to dominate the total web browser market with a market share of more than 66%. In comparison, its nearest competitor, Apple's Safari, is around 17% with Microsoft's Edge with a meager 5%. As I've said many times over the years, while Chrome is the most used, it's far from being the best. These lesser known browsers I'll be showing you that should be more popular than they are right now are way better than Chrome for privacy, unique useful features that are built in, and offer a much improved user experience overall. First up is the free and open source Maldad browser. Based in Sweden, it's from the makers of the Maldad VPN. Their browser, based on Firefox, in collaboration with the Tor project, is designed to eliminate tracking and enhance user privacy. The browser itself comes pre-configured to reduce tracking and is a private browser by default, meaning that no cookies, cache, and history is ever stored. You don't need to be a Mulvad VPN customer to use it. Their browser is free to download and use. The layout is very basic and includes most of the features of Firefox, including a reading mode, and screenshot tool are built in. A few extensions are enabled by default when you first launch the browser, including NoScript, which provides enhanced privacy by blocking scripts and plugins like JavaScript and Java from running on web pages until explicitly allowed by the user. Mulvad Browser is available for Windows, macOS, and Linux. At this time, there are no mobile apps available. Zen Browser is another free and open source browser based on Firefox with a focus on privacy that is highly customizable with a layout that's inspired by the Arc browser, which sadly is no longer being updated with new features. Zen Browser attempts to minimize distractions to help with productivity. Some of its productivity features include workspaces to organize your tabs. Compact mode hides the tab bar when you don't need it to give you more screen real estate. Glance makes it quicker to switch between tabs, and Split View lets you view two tabs side by side. The layout is quite different. Instead of the toolbar being at the top, it has a sidebar on the left, which includes the address bar, bookmarks, an area for your workspaces, and your open tabs. Zen Browser at this time is only available for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. Next up is Brave. If you don't want to completely leave the Chrome ecosystem, this is one to consider. This free and open source browser is based on Chromium with Google's code stripped out to improve user privacy. In addition, it blocks third-party trackers, blocks cookies and fingerprinting, which is a method to identify users even when cookies are disabled. When you land on Brave's new tab page, it shows you in the upper left corner the trackers and ads blocked, the bandwidth saved, and time saved. When you're on a privacy invading website like this one, when you click on the Brave Shield to the right of the address bar, it shows you the number of ads, trackers, and other crap that have been blocked. They now have their own search engine, they call Brave Search, that uses its own web index, not using Google or Bing, to generate results. Brave is available for all of the major operating systems, Windows, Mac OS, and Linux, and it also has apps for both Android and iOS. Now for something completely different. Opera GX is one I did a review for a few years back that a lot of you seem to love. This browser based on Chromium is designed for gamers, offering customization options designed to enhance the gaming experience. One of the features users like is called GX Control. It allows users to manage the browser's resource usage, specifically CPU, RAM, and network bandwidth. In the browser, you'll find that feature in the left sidebar. Another feature here is GX Cleaner to clear out cookies, cache, and other junk. There's also a tab here called Player to listen to Spotify or some other music or podcast service. To customize Opera GX, when you first launch it, you'll get this Welcome to Opera GX page. Go through each of these pages to change these settings to make it your own. Opera GX is available for Windows, Mac OS, iOS, and Android. Currently, it's not available for Linux. If you're a fan of the DuckDuckGo search engine, you might want to get their browser. It's also heavily focused on user privacy. It allows you to search privately and blocks trackers. It blocks annoying cookie requests and pop-ups, easily deletes browsing data with one click, and during the install process, you can import your bookmarks and passwords from another browser. Of course, the home page and new tab page in their browser is DuckDuckGo search. The layout is very basic, which for some of you will be a pro and to some will be a con. 
One downside for some of you will be that there is no support for extensions. The DuckDuckGo browser for Windows and Android is based on Chromium. For macOS and iOS, it's based on Apple's WebKit. At this time, there's no browser for Linux. Next up is Florp. This Japanese browser with a strange name is based on Mozilla's Firefox. It's basically Firefox without Mozilla's telemetry with added features for productivity, including vertical tabs, split screen views, and workspace panels. A feature some people like is its flexible user interface customization to easily adjust their browsing experience. Unlike many browsers where the sidebar is on the left, here it's on the right to access bookmarks, history, and other stuff. To activate split view, which can come in handy sometimes, right click on a tab and select split this tab in a tab without split view. Then go to the other tab. Florp is available for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. Currently, there are no apps available for mobile. The folks at Opera have another browser that came out just a couple months ago called Opera Air. We recently did a video of it when it was released. Based on Chromium for Windows and Mac OS, it's a browser with mindfulness at its core. This fully functional browser with a minimalistic design attempts to make you feel more calm and make you feel better while browsing the web. If you're interested in checking out its various features, the link to our review and tutorial will be in the description. I'll go through the remainder of these more quickly. LibreWolf, based on Firefox, is a solid choice for privacy and security extremists. This free and open source browser has no telemetry, various privacy-oriented search engines included, and content blocking. LibreWolf is available for Windows, Mac OS, and the various distros of Linux. Waterfox, as you might have guessed by the name, is another browser based on Firefox. Available for Windows, Mac OS, Linux, and Android, it looks like a clone of the actual Firefox, albeit with telemetry completely disabled and other privacy settings that are usually turned off on other browsers turned on here on Waterfox by default. No video like this would be complete without mentioning Vivaldi. Based on Chromium, it's available for all of the desktop and mobile platforms. While being the most customizable and feature-packed browser ever made, it's also fantastic with privacy protection. When I said earlier it was feature-packed, that was not an exaggeration. Some of the features include an email client, RSS feed reader, tab tiling and stacking, has a screenshot tool, command chains, and a whole lot more. Thanks for watching. Links are in the description. If this video was useful for you, give it a thumbs up and share it with others. If you're using a browser other than Chrome, let us know about in the comments and why you're using it. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe and smash that bell to not miss out on our latest tech alternatives videos and other tech related stuff.